In this video, we're going to troubleshoot EIGRP. You've been called to a customer site and have been asked to troubleshoot an issue where router one on the left is not able to ping router four. So let's verify that. Ping quadruple four. As we can see in the output, router one is not able to ping router four. Let's do a trace route to see how far the traffic goes. It looks like it's not even leaving the local router. Let's have a look at the routing table, show IP route. We have received some ERGRP routes. We've received a route for the loopback of router two, as well as for network 10.1.2.0, which is the link between router two and router three, but no other routes, including the quadruple four route, exist in the routing table. Show IP ERGRP neighbor is a good way to verify neighbor connectivity in this case, we've got a neighbor relationship with router two, which is expected because we have the 2.2.2.2 network in the routing table, and we can ping that neighbor. So let's check router two. Show IP EIGRP neighbor. Router two has a neighbor relationship with 10.1.1.1 on gigabit 00. So in other words, router two has a relationship with router one, but there's no relationship to router three. Now I've purposely turned off something on the router. When I press Control Z or Control Z here, something should happen. What is not happening? Notice again, Control Z or Control Z, nothing is displaying. So show run, pipe include log, shows us that logging has been disabled on the console. Now remember that in the real world, if you telnet to a router, you need to use the command termmon or terminal monitor to see output on the screen. It's disabled by default. But termmon is enabled by default on the console. So notice on router one, we told that the console already monitors, but that's not what's displayed on router two. And that's because a logging on the console has been disabled. So logging console. One of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do is type terminal monitor when telnetting to a router or ensuring that the console is logging when connected to the console so that you get messages like this. Notice we told Joule. Joule is the algorithm used by EIGRP. EIGRP IP version four, neighbor 10.2.2.2. There's something wrong here. Show IP EIGRP neighbor. We're not seeing a neighbor relationship but we are seeing some kind of information shown over and over again on the console of router two. Let's have a look on the console of router three. So term on. Logging is also disabled on the console of this router. So term mon. We told that the console already monitors. Now we're seeing some output here about the neighbor but it looks like the message is truncated. So let's have a look at the log. And I'll include EIGRP messages. So we're seeing a message here saying that the neighbor is blocked, not on a common subnet. So I'll clear the log. And let's do that again, so show log. And notice now we're seeing this message, not on common subnet. So show log, not on common subnet. We're seeing that on the console now. And if we look at the log, we're seeing that information in the buffer. So now the information is being displayed correctly on the buffer as well as on the console. Let's have a look at router three, so show log. We're getting a lot of not common subnet messages, so I'll clear the log again. So that'll clear the buffer on router three. You don't necessarily want to just clear a buffer like that, but because this is a lab, I'm able to do that. And notice in the buffer, I'm seeing that a neighbor relationship is blocked because it's not on a common subnet. So as soon as you see a message like this, you should have already realized what the problem is. 
but the output was not showing properly, this is the actual message that you should see. The neighbor is blocked, not on a common subnet, 10.1.2.1.24. So the router is telling us that the neighbor relationship cannot be established because the neighbor is on a different subnet to the local router. The same is happening here. Show log, neighbor is blocked because it's not on a common subnet. And we'll see those messages continue until we fix this. So, according to the diagram, the IP address on gigabit is 01 should be 10.1.2.1, and it is on router two. So that's correct. On router three, show run interface gigabit 01. The IP address is 10.2.2.2, but it should be 10.1.2.2. So let's fix that. IP address 10.1.2.2. Hopefully what should happen now is the neighbor relationship is established. Notice we're getting neighbor exchange. Show IP EIGRP neighbor. Neighbor relationship is established on router three to router two. And back on router two, show IP EIGRP neighbor. Neighbor relationship is established to router three. So this is the lesson. For IP version four, EIGRP neighbors, they need to be on the same subnet. So the issue in this case was that router three was configured with the incorrect second octet. It should have been 10.1.2.2 and not 10.2.2.2. EIGRP for IP version four requires that the neighbors be on the same subnet to form neighbor relationships. If they're on different subnets, neighbor relationship won't form and you'll see messages like this on the console of the router stating that the neighbor is not on a common subnet. Show IP route on router one shows us that router 4's loopback is available in the writing table and I can now ping the loopback of router 4. With regards to logging, remember that when you telnet or SSH to a router that you type term on so that you see the logging messages. On the console, make sure that logging to the console is enabled. In this case, the logging was disabled so we had to re-enable it. It is enabled by default on Cisco routers. I hope this video has been of benefit to you. If you enjoyed it, please like the video and please subscribe to my channel. I wish you all the very best.